stay, stay awake. Um, it has been said that um, an artist is somebody who can dream while, while still wide awake. Now, in the Gospels, uh, we got a wonderful insight into Jesus. He was truly an artist. Um, he could, a great storyteller, always conveying a particular message. And the same way with um, true artists, they can see something that other people don't see. As for example, um, Van Gogh, we're told, was hypersensitive to light and form. And so he could see things there and uh, paint, you know, something beautiful. Same way with um, an artist or with a sculptor, um, in a piece maybe of scrap metal or something that somebody has discarded, they can dream, dream and make it into something beautiful. Now, how does that apply to St. Monica this morning? Well, Monica represents many, many women today, many mothers who have family, uh, have fallen away from the faith, sons or, or daughters or grandchildren. And they worry, they worry about them. Now, if you go back for a moment to St. Monica, I'm not sure how she prayed, but I'm sure she didn't try to manipulate God. Because very often when we pray for something, uh, for the uh, conversion of somebody or that they would see the light, we're, tr we're very often, we're trying to manipulate God, tell him what, what to do. But you see, like an artist, we don't see the overall plan. We don't see what they could become. There are many, many, many different paths to, to God. And your path or my path is not necessarily the true one. There, there, are, there are many other, man, many other paths. And in the life of St. Augustine, God saw in, the, in Augustine something wonderful. And the early part of life was something, was an important part of his life. But for that, for, you know, going astray and all the things he did when he was far away from God, that was all part of his life, forming the overall plan. And just like a true artist can see the finished product, that's what, that's what you and I have got to remember. God sees the finished product. And so what I'm saying to you this morning is don't unduly worry. In the end, all will, will be well. And God, everything will work out in the end. That is very, very true. You've, you've often heard of the phrase, let go and let God and when we pray, make sure you're not trying to get God to do what you want. You must never do that when you pray. But for God to do the best for that person maybe that you're praying for, what, is, what God sees is best for him, not necessarily what I see is best for that person, for her or for him. And I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's how St. Saint, how Saint Monica prayed. Leave, leave it in God's hands. Leave your sons and, and the daughters and grandchildren in God's hands, and all will work out in the end.